All right, here we are. Just exited the high park subway station, heading out of, what a beautiful night. What a beautiful night. I think I'm overdressed for the, for the season because uh, it was super hot in the subway. So decided to jump out and do a little walk, walk about. Some broken window there. So this would be Bloor Street. And that's the famous High Park. Let's see if we can cross the street carefully. Look both sides. Are we clear? I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Now we gotta watch the bicycles. All right, now we clear it. It's super dark, this park. There are absolutely no lights in this park at night. Only on this edge you have some light, but uh, I reckon this place is great for uh, camping in the wintertime because <laughs> you're close to the city. It's super dark, nobody's gonna see you. And you're close to your car in case it gets too cold or if you're experimenting with camping. Uh, you know, you're not supposed to um, camp in the park, but that's it is. They're going to burn it. There's gonna be a, a park will be closed for one day in early springs. We have to come and check that out. They're gonna do a controlled burn. That's gonna be interesting. They did that last year too. It's good. It's, come, it's good to come and see it afterwards and that kind of stuff. Late night walk with Phil Michel on Bloor Street. First day of spring. Why not? Beautiful winter we had this year. Very soft and gentle. We got one mild winter storm. We had a couple of cold days. I remember at the Freedom Rally, we had a couple of uh, pretty cold days, you know. I mean, it, it was good. It wasn't annoying, but I think I'm trapped here. I think I can't get out of here. I got on this side of the barrier. Oh my God. Oh my God, what are we gonna do? There is this uh, staircase and down the valley. It goes to Ellis Park Drive and all that. This staircase used to be, yeah, I gotta get over this wall, man. Look at this. This staircase used to be like wooden back in the day and now it's all metal. Be a good stunt riding uh, staircase if you're young enough and uh, okay. I gotta climb over this wall. Ooh, yeah, got it. We're off. All right, let's keep going. A little bit. I'm just gonna walk to Running Me. Late night walk on Bloor Street. Well, nobody's on the street at all, huh? Nobody on the street, hardly any cars. I was uh, checking on the late night subway ride and uh, line one, going eastbound, had a closure, so they closed it at St. George and you had to get on a bus to go all the way, you know? So I was telling myself, like, if you're going out late at night for a walk and film, it's good to be on a street that it's good to be on Bloor Street because at least you can get the Bloor bus to, to somewhere. Oh, this is like a, they're still doing testing here. It's a testing center. They test you. To see how smart you are. Can you join the Canadian military or not? These roads here are all up, up down, down, up, down, up. Look at the sky. They're great for uh, cardio training on a mountain bike. Oh. You do these hills once a week, you're ready to go to the Olympics. Special kind of Olympics. Yeah, it's like all the shops are closed. Well, it is late. It's probably 12.30, closer to one o'clock. It'll be a midnight walk.
It's the bicycle alley. That's where all the bicycles are. Speed bicycles, road riders. These road bikes becoming more and more uh, interesting. You know, they used to be, in the 80s, they used to be all skinny tubes and skinny tires. Now the tires are looking fatter and bodies are looking fatter and they got electronic gears and check, check your sound, you yeah? Very interesting. This, um, so all the, I would say, the professional race bike shops are here. There used to be tons more bike shops around here because I guess uh, High Park used to be a good, uh, still is probably a good place to go and practice riding and all that. So all the road riders would buy their bike here and practice. So this area, as far as I remember, it was always a uh, biking area. You know, all the bike shops used to be on the street. Uh, there still is two more bike shops uh, up ahead and a couple more on Jane Street and Dundas. And this place, like, I guess one day they're going to build a condo here or some sort. It's not a big land, but it's been vacated for a very long time. Yeah, it's one of my favorite streets, this uh, Bloor Street, because it goes through different... Every section of it is different. And it's not a very long street. From, from here, from like Jane Street, you can pretty much walk all the way down to Young Street. It takes a while, it takes a while. This place is empty, but you go through lots of different areas. Different, uh, this guy's got salt on the sidewalk. Wow, this is good. Earlier on, we had some uh, kind of a rain storm with hail. Some, this one is empty too. Empty shop. Early on, like I said, it was kind of snowing and blizzard and stuff, but never, it didn't accumulate at all. You know, we're approaching one of my favorite uh, grocery stores. No frills, this particular one. I always like to shop here because it's on the subway line. You can jump off the subway and do your shopping. My previous video, I have a video here last week. I shopped some, uh, total $60, pistachios, some lamb, eggs, avocados. What else did I have? And a cabbage. We did a $60 job there and at least got a free parking here. Or at least I think it's free if you, uh, you shop there. And this parking lot too, I bet you sooner or later, they're gonna decide to do a condo here. Uh, I, I like these kind of parking lots where they're, you can just park your car there and run on the store because it's convenient, right? If you have to park indoors and go in the basement and elevators and all that stuff, just, I don't like it, too much work. And they're never gonna be free, right? They're gonna have to pay. So this one is good, like lots of room. You just park here and then you're doing your business. Cool stores across the street. This little, uh, and then another, this one's a cool one too. An old school plaza. You can park in front of it, I guess. Wow, see how convenient it is? Just drive there, pick up your sushi, delights of China. Upstairs, people are living, I guess, small apartments. There's a dentist guy up there. It's gotta be a small st dental studio. And here's your, uh... No frills. That is closed right now. Is it closed? Anybody in there? Yeah. Yeah, it is closed. Nobody's there. But they got their carts out here. That's what they stored their carts on now. Whoa! Each one of those has a dollar in it, or you put a dollar and a dollar comes out. You have to put a dollar to get a, I think it's a dollar, to get a cart. I never use a cart. Sounds like a lot of work. Where is the running meet subway? I'm gonna get on the subway and go back. Go back in time. Some cool restaurants here. 
most are closed, I guess, but wow. Look how quiet this street is. It's an amazing time to go for a, a bike ride with a bunch of your friends. All right, look this way. Da, da, da. Check out the bikes. The bikes coming in. Not yet. These guys are closing down. Spread stores closing down. Wow. Late night walk. But all the closed stores. Um, Blower Vest. High Park to Runnymede. Starbucks. I wonder when they, they're gonna close this Starbucks. I used to come to this Starbucks in the 90s. It's been around here for a long time. And here's another bicycle shop. Sells uh, super uh, race kind of type of bikes. Old school racer sportif. More closed restaurants. They're not closed because of economy, they're just closed because it's late and nobody's going out to a proper meal this summer night. Except these guys want chicken wings and late night junk food. All right, here we are at the Running Meat Subway. We're gonna get on the subway and uh, see if we can find anything else. Try to get the last train on the line, if I can. Thanks for uh, hanging out with me on this, uh, I guess, Tuesday night ride. First day of spring, late night walk. I'll catch you guys in the next film. Thank you.